y'all. I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today I have a Bible journal process video for you. I am working in the book of Ezra, and we just started a new sermon series at church called Homecoming, and I'm excited to start kind of taking some of my notes, reviewing them, and then creating some art in my Bible to kind of interpret those and kind of summarize some of the things I took away from the first uh, sermon. So I am planning, I'm going to move this to the side. I'm planning on, I've pulled a few paints over here, some of the Handmade Modern brand from Target. They have an updated brand now, but they're very similar. And then I have this Happy Planner sticker book. This is Spoonful of Faith, um, and it is beautiful, you guys. It is so pretty. I absolutely love it. This is a faith-based sticker book. This is the big size. I do think they have it in the classic size as well. I just don't have um, that size. I haven't been able to find it. It's available at Joann's and mine just hasn't stocked that one yet. Um, but I love these faith-based ones. You can use them in your Bible if you are a Bible journaler. Um, you can use any of them in your Bible to, if, if it's what you like, but these work really well. And so I'm going to kind of mix and match some stickers, some paint, and we are going to get going in this Bible journal entry. As always, I will link everything I can find down below. Like I said, as of the recording of this video, this one isn't available online. It's only available in stores at Joanne. So make sure to check out your local Joanne. If it is available online, I will update my description and link it below. All right, let's go. All right, so I actually pulled out my planning guide. This is a clear planning guide from the Happy Planner, and it allows me to kind of pick out the stickers that I want to be able to use and move them around my page so I don't have to make a decision right away, which turns out to be good because you'll see I end up changing my mind on a few of the stickers. There are just so many good ones, it was hard to decide. I knew I wanted this big group of beautiful women. So the story we're focused on is when the Israelites came back to Israel and they are returning from an exile in Babylon and when they return to Israel one of the first things that is put on their heart is to rebuild the temple and in Ezra 3 we see the rebuilding of the temple and when it reopens there is a mixture of shouts of praise and weeping. So as they are embarking on this new huge project of rebuilding the temple, there's this mixture of emotions. There are some people that are lamenting and only focusing on what has been lost. And there's some people that are praising and looking for God's hand in what is coming. And I think that is um, a wonderful lesson and a wonderful story for us to review, especially at this point in our lives um, with COVID and everything that's happened in the last 18 months. Are we lamenting what is lost or are we looking forward to see what God is doing now? Okay, so I laid down my big stickers. Sometimes those are a little stressful to lay down, but that one went down pretty easy. And now I'm doing the scraping technique. So what I'm doing is putting just a little bit of acrylic paint on the end of what it amounts to like a credit card or a Starbucks gift card, something like that, and just scraping it down my page. That first color is hard to see in person. It's the egg color, just slightly off white. And I'm gonna get progressively darker just to create this mixture of color in the back. I chose colors that were in that sticker so I could kind of pick them up and engage that sticker across the whole page. I'm even scraping the paint at times onto parts of the sticker which is a great way to incorporate it into the page so it doesn't feel like just a sticker stuck on the page. You can kind of bring it in to your full artwork. You can see I'm progressively getting just a little bit darker here with this coffee color, adding that in. And all of this will end up being in the background. I will be adding some more stickers that'll be my journaling spots and doing a little stamping and everything. But one of the fun parts about doing mixed media in your Bible is getting to add these different layers. I wasn't sure how the sticker would react over top of the acrylic, which is why I put it down first. Plus I do really like adding some paint over the top of it just to bring it in a little bit more. 
Okay, for this mauvey pink, I switched to a Jane Davenport color just because it matched a little bit better than the pinks I had in the Handmade Modern. I'm just going to make some little art marks, and to me this is bringing in the color um, of the headpiece of the woman at the top, and I just love that color pink. And I'm just going to incorporate that across the page in little groupings of two or three, just little um, sprays of color to bring that color around the page because it's definitely one I wanted to bring out and again putting it over top of the sticker is a great way to incorporate that sticker onto your page a little bit more. Once I am done with that then I pull out my Ranger heat tool just to make sure everything is really dry before I continue working over top of it. So I generally have my heat tool plugged in when I'm working over on my filming desk just so I can hit everything with the heat tool on a regular basis. Okay, now I'm having a tough time deciding what boxes I'm going to use. I thought I had some picked out, but then I didn't really want to highlight the red flower that was in my first gray box. So I'm pulling out a different one, and this one will be perfect. It's sized perfectly for the margins of this illustrating Bible. This is a double box, and it'll be perfect to put my journaling on. I really wanted to include this box right here. It says reflection. I thought it would be great for an additional journaling spot. But truthfully, I just could not end up getting it to fit right. And I tried. I tried and tried. And I ended up putting it back into the book just because I couldn't get it to work like I really wanted it to. That is one of the plus sides of using these clear planning guides, though, is that I'm able to kind of play with my stickers, put, uh, put them on the guide, move them around, see if they'll work. And if they don't work, I just pop them back into the book. So right now I'm pulling out a few more stickers that I think I'm going to use, but before I end up putting all of the boxes down on the page, I do want to add another layer of mixed media, and that is with stamping. I am going to use a stamp set from my stash. This is from By the Well for God. It is called Scribbles and Doodles 2, and it has these beautiful line drawings of roses with great words on them. So this one is... Um, the rose picture and then it says strengthen on the stem so I'll put that up at the top just to add a little bit more black up there and then just such words as we are rebuilding and we're coming back together in different ways um, these are great prayers for God to strengthen us and for God to establish something new and then the last one I use says confirm for God to confirm that this is his will different things that we are doing that are new with these clear acrylic stamps you do have to have a stamp block for them to work so I have these clear stamp blocks and then ink so you take it off of the sheet that it's on stick it on the stamp block and then you use that to help position it one of the plus sides is that it takes up less space when you're storing the stamps and you able you're able to see where your stamp is going just a little bit more Okay, the stamping is not done quite yet because I like these little scribble circle pieces. And so I'm going to put those just in some different places. Again, it brings in that black, which really ties in the sticker more and moves that black around the page. And I just like a really full spread. That's one of my favorite things is to make sure that all the space is covered and once again, hitting that really well, some of the stamping did go over the top of the sticker because I just used um, my regular VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I want to be really careful and make sure that it is really dry before I close the book. Okay, now I'm ready to place down the last bits of this page. So this will be my journaling box. Perfect right there. I love that the um, art that I did, the mixed media art in the background is kind of peeking out from behind. I love this phrase, make way for today. Um, I think it goes perfect. Make way for what is new, for what God is doing today. And then right down here, I'm putting this kind of mustard yellow box, and then I'll put something similar up at the top. And that will be where my title is. Um, and there's some gorgeous alphas in this book that have that deep green in it, which I think is just so pretty. So I'm trying to get this making sure it's straight. So I love these alphas. They are so pretty and I'm going to use them to write out the words home at the top and then coming at the bottom. Sorry, I am off screen. Here we go. I fixed it. 
and I'll place those down. Whenever I'm doing words like that, I tend to start in the middle and then work out from there just because uh, spatial reasoning, not always my strong point. And so I tend to have things wonky. If I don't start in the middle, it ends up looking a little bit funky. So that's how I like to place these. These also have a little bit of gold foil and you know that I am team shimmer and shine um, because I love a little bling in my um, layouts. So this one is, is just a little bit, just a little hint of the bling in this entry. So home at the top, coming at the bottom, and then I will off camera do my journaling. Once the journaling is done, then this entry is pretty much done. I will add one fabric clippy at the top just to be able to mark this in my Bible. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Just like always, I will link all of the supplies I use down below. If you're interested, make sure you check those out. A heads up, some of those are affiliate links. It doesn't cost you any more, but it does go a long way to supporting this channel. And a huge shout out to my scrappy YouTube members. Thank you so much for all of your support. Um, if you are interested in finding out about scrappy YouTube to membership and some of the perks that they receive as members, then click that join button or check the link in the description. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.